Hey there, you may be wondering, how do I set up a project or get started? Well, you came to the right place. Let's dive in. First, you'll see the project manager. This will show all of your current projects in LumaFusion. Currently, the project manager does not contain any projects since we'll be creating our first project together. So let's begin. Tap on the create button to create a new project. The first thing that'll pop up is the settings for creating a new project. By default, it'll be based on the first video clip that is added to the timeline, but you can always make adjustments. The frame rate, which is how many frames are in a second of a clip. This can vary depending on your location. For instance, most people in Europe will shoot at 25 frames per second. I'm going to choose 30 frames per second for our project. Aspect ratio is another setting that can be adjusted. The aspect ratio is the size of the image, which is shown with numbers and colons. The first number is usually how big the clip is horizontally, and the second digit is how big the clip is vertically. You may want to think what aspect ratio should be used depending on where you'll be exporting the project and who your audience may be. I am going to choose 16 by 9 for this project. Color space is shown in the settings as well. Android and Chrome OS has a standard Rec. 709 as the color space. Now we understand the settings. We will tap on the Create button, which will open up a brand new project with the settings that were set. We will open up the Help and Settings panel. The settings that were set earlier will be displayed. This can always be adjusted in the Help and Settings panel for any project. For instance, we can change the 30 frames per second to 24. If you navigate to the Preference tab in the Help and Settings panel, you can see that it is adjusted to the first video clip by default. You can toggle this off and alter the new project default for future projects, especially if you know what you want them to be. Let's get to the fun part. Let's add some clips to the timeline from the library and get started. You can tap on the top left icon in the library to open the sources. This will give you a drop down menu of all the library sources that can be easily accessed. The media library contains footage that is currently on the device. Linked folders are files that can be linked to LumaFusion and from an external SSD drive. The imported folder contains assets from other locations that are imported from the cloud, such as Box, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Also, special folders from LumaFusion, such as the Rendered Movies folder. Storyblocks is a location in the library source, where you can find royalty-free clips to use in projects. It includes various things like stock footage, music, and sound effects. Some free clips can be used from any of these categories in Storyblocks for LumaFusion. But if you need access to the full library, this can be accessed with a monthly or annual subscription. The Titles Library displays all the title presets that come with LumaFusion. You can customize these or create your own from scratch. The Transitions Library will show all the transition presets that can be used. Let me show you how to add clips to the timeline. You can always drag from the preview, double tap from the library, drag and drop from the library, or use the insert button under the preview to add a clip to the timeline as well. You'll have the option to insert to the main track, overwrite to the main track, and place on the secondary track. Now we know how to get started. In our next video, I'll show you how to edit the timeline in more detail. Until next time, happy editing!